Royal shock, Kate and Meghan could only marry William and Harry thanks to the Queen Mother. Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton were only allowed to marry into the royal family thanks to Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, better known as the Queen Mother, a documentary reveals. The Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge officially became sisters-in-law last May, following Meghan's wedding to Prince Harry in Windsor Castle. Both duchesses come from working-class families and by monarchy standards are considered commoners. Meghan's mother is a social worker and her father is a former television lighting director. Kate's parents worked in aviation before launching their own party supply company. According to 2013 Netflix documentary The Royals, it was thanks to the Queen Mother if, despite their lack of titles, it was allowed for Meghan and Kate to marry Prince Harry and Prince William. The narrator noted that in the 1920s princes were allowed to marry commoners but actually, they were still expected to marry princes from other royal families. He added, nevertheless this didn't stop Bertie, future King George VI from taking Elizabeth to be his bride. At the time this was considered to be a step towards political modernization. Robert Lacey, royal historian, noted that the Queen Mother is also the very reason the British monarchy is still alive. Mr. Lacey noted, many people were quite shocked when first Albert and then his brothers married wives who were not royal. In Germany in particular where there are very careful distinctions between royal and different levels of aristocracy people sniffed and said, look the British monarchies become middle class. But of course the British monarchy survived in the 20th century for that very reason. And the German monarchy did not. Meghan Markle Royal Rift How serious is the rift between Kate Middleton and Meghan? Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton have been dogged by persistent rumors of a feud between the sisters-in-law. So how serious is this? In the past few weeks, the fairy tale of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's romance has taken a bit of a battering. After months of overwhelming public support, the rumor mill swung the other way and now seems stuck on this perceived rift between Meghan, 37, and Kate Middleton, 36. The two are said to have come to blows amid a similar rift with their husbands, William, 36 and Harry, 34. It's unclear where the rumors began, but they coincided with the news that Harry and Meghan were planning to move house. Currently shacked up in Nottingham Cottage in the ground of Kensington Palace, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are neighbours to William and Kate. It's unclear where the rumours began, but they coincided with the news that Harry and Meghan were planning to move house. Currently shacked up in Nottingham Cottage in the ground of Kensington Palace, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are neighbours to William and Kate. Were the brothers fighting? Did the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge really not like Meghan? Did William really share concerns with the Queen about his brother's whirlwind romance? The truth of the matter is, of course, that none of us really know. The family is notoriously private, and the chances of an accurate report coming out of the palace concerning a private conversation between the Queen and her grandson are very slim. Other rumors include Meghan apparently making Kate cry at a fitting for her bridesmaid's dresses. Kate's three-year-old Charlotte was in the wedding party. And there have also been unfounded claims of Meghan's difficult behavior with staff. But is this all just the usual cycle of fickle-natured public mood? Meghan enjoyed months in the warm glow of the public and media's favor over the summer, but as the weather turned colder, so did her reception. One source, said to be friends with Kate and William, told Us Weekly, there is no fighting going on between Kate and Meghan. Kate is lovely. She's British, she's reserved, you have to break through that armor. Kate doesn't warm up to people too quickly. It takes some time for her to become comfortable and trusting for anyone in the outside world. So perhaps any perceived iciness between the two is merely just the mark of two women in the public eye who don't know each other too well yet, after all, not everyone is instantly best friends with their in-laws. The source went on to say Meghan is just settling into royal life, having been thrust into the spotlight just six months ago. It took some adjusting for Meghan to get used to the protocols of the palace and the royal family, the source says. That can't be easy for anyone to get used to, especially a woman who had all the independence in the world just one year ago.